Hey guys, okay, I am back. So, let's talk about um, scalp and hair maintenance. So, this isn't about wearing my wigs, but it's about scalping, um, scalping hair maintenance like in between my wigs and during my wigs. So, there's a few things that I do to maintain my hair scalp and even the wig hair. Um, so, my scalp, my braids, or my hair in between, um, in between the wigs, and also the wig hair. So, um, I know some people may have issues with uh, maintaining their scalp and or their own hair, like the washes in between or the maintenance, like as far as keeping your hair moisturized, and then also maintaining the actual wig hair. So, we're just going to talk about those things. Um... I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple. It's not too many things that I do, but there are things that I do. So, uh, pretty much my process is um, I wash my hair and um, I braid it in a beehive. Usually I braid the, the first braid going around my edges. Usually that's a separate braid just so I can um, take that down and refresh the braid because usually it gets like kind of messy like the hair will kind of come out a little bit or the baby hairs or edges will come out um, because that's where the edges that's where the wig sits around the border and also too when I'm like putting grease or whatever that's kind of like where the hair kind of slips out of the braid so uh, that is usually how I braid my hair um, so after washing it um, I blow dry it straight with the a blow dryer with the comb attachment. Blow dry it straight from, um, you know, I make sure the roots are really straight and I make sure the ends are really straight because um, the roots, you don't want them to be like um, kind of nappy or whatever when you braid it. You want them to be as sleek as possible so your braid will stay tighter longer. And I make sure I braid the, the roots pretty straight so that I can braid firmly up at the scalp. So blow dry my hair so I can braid it um during uh well during the duration of the braids I try to get my hair as moisturized as possible if I can sometimes when it's a little cool outside I don't like to put anything in my hair because I don't like that cold feeling but when I can I spray it with the water bottle and um it keeps my hair like moisturized it just feels good uh, my scalp feels a little bit better um, you know, you, you just need the moisture, you know, um, I think moisture is really underrated for a lot of people. Uh, I used to not really be into a lot of moisture. I mean, and it depends on how you're wearing your hair too. You know, if you're wearing a, a flat iron, you can't have your hair moist, but when it is in its natural state, it's good to keep as moist as possible. Um, you know, and just because it's dry doesn't mean it has to, um, just because your hair isn't wet doesn't mean, um, I'm like losing it. Just because your hair isn't wet doesn't mean it can't be moist. So even with your flat irons, even with your braids or whatever, it can still be moisturized. It's just not wet. But um, some people, when they do moisturize, your hair do get wet because you're putting in a lot of water, a lot of conditioner. But it doesn't always have to be that way. So um, I would spray it with water, especially during the hot days. Um, and sometimes I will mix aloe vera with the water. So, you know, just to put some something else different in it besides just water, you know, something that may have a little bit um, of nutrients in it or just, you know, because I hear aloe vera is pretty good for the hair. So that's that. Um, and then I will use like the natural oils. So like say olive oil, tea tree oil, um, coconut oil, things like that. Um, one thing about the oil that it does stain a lot of things and I go overboard like I like to drench my hair in oil So I started um, it's been a while since I use a lot of oil But I will like mix it in with my hair creams So like the cream that you use like the leave-in cream or just you know for your scalp I'll put a few drops in that so I can have the benefits of the oil and the cream um, And I do use the cream by itself also Sometimes I'll mix the cream with a little bit of grease like hair grease and just make a nice little um, creamy greasy texture just enough where it's like It's creamy, but it has a little bit of grease in there. So it will like last a little bit longer um, But out of all three of those I do prefer the cream um, 
Let's see. So yeah, I rebraid my hair for maintenance. Like I'll rebraid the edges. Sometimes I'll take down, um, I don't know, maybe like more than the edges. Like sometimes I don't just braid my hair in one big braid in a beehive. Like I said, I'll braid the edges. That'll be one braid and then the rest of the hair be just another braid in a beehive. But sometimes I'll do several braids, like going up in a circular motion. So depending on how bad it is, I may take down the first two braids. So like my halo and then the one after that. Um, and it does help me wear the wigs longer. Like by the time I'm done, uh, the top is like so grown out and the edges will be like grown out, but not as much because I have been rebraiding it. Um, and then to maintain the wig hair, uh, I usually trim it as I go. So after a couple of weeks, I'll trim the hair a little bit shorter. Um, or underneath the hair where it gets kind of matted, I'll like just cut out the knots and mats and stuff. And so um, trimming it, I believe, helps it like from being so frizzy as the hair ages. It just keeps the frizz to a minimum. And then also, as far as maintenance, um, I'll like rebraid the hair or curl it and dip it in some hot water the way you do braids and then just, you know, freshen up the style. So those are pretty much the things I do to maintain my scalp, my hair, and the wig hair. There's not too many different things that I do. It's really, really simple and basic. Um, I don't really put like styling product on the wigs. I don't do that. Like it's very, very, very rare if um, like I might hairspray it like after I do a braid out or something, but that's like almost never. I may have done that once. So that's pretty much my upkeep for um, like I said, my scalp, my hair, and the wigs. That's the maintenance that I do, and it's just about that simple. I don't do anything else, and I've been doing that for years. Like right now, it's going on two years. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you are an avid wig wearer, <laughs> Uh, and you have a lot more that you do or a lot more that you maintain um, Yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, I used to wash my hair like wash my braids in between um, Like wearing the wig so you know, I'll have the braids and I'll put it in the shower It has to be usually I just run water through it Like I used to do the shampoo thing, but that didn't work out really well I just didn't like the fact that I couldn't just rinse it all the way out so usually if I if I do wash my hair, it's just in water and I'll just rinse my hair really good in like some um, just some warm water in the shower. And that's as most that's as most as I get when it comes to washing it like I won't do anything else to it like I'm not co-washing I'm not dry washing it dry shampoo none of that. And my hair doesn't really have an odor like, you know, some people do sweat a lot. So they may have more maintenance that they go through or they may have other means of, of taking care of their hair and scalp. But for me, I'm not one of those people. And so I don't have to like constantly like rinse my scalp and all of that stuff. If I do, it's because I'm hot or I'm just trying to just get some moisture in my hair. Really, really simple for me. So yeah, if you have way more things that you go through, please leave me comments because I would love to see like what else people do like to their hair, you know, and stuff in between their wigs. Um, like I say, you know, I'm not really washing it. When I do take my braids down and wash my own hair, um, you know, I may not wash it as vigorously as I do for a flat iron. I just make sure it's clean. Like I'm not making, I'm not like going overboard with the washing. I just make sure it's as clean as it needs to be to rebraid it um not saying i like half ass it or nothing it's just i don't i don't go to the extremes of like the extra you know conditioners and you know washing it with all these different shampoos i just do basic shampoo basic condition and that's it and i'll just blow dry it straight so yeah um that's it for my scalp hair and wig hair maintenance and yeah i hope you guys are having a great day and i'll catch you next time bye